Kristen. Hi, Kim. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Happy uh, Friday. Happy Friday. Happy, Happy almost Friday. Mother's Day. Happy oh. almost Mother's Day. There's oh. Lars. Honking, honking. People are using the Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good, but we're still wearing masks. Masks. Trying to right? stay away. We're gonna stay go. away. We got all our even things are gonna change today, but we're all still gonna be good. Yeah, but look what I brought. Oh my gosh! This is last year's pavilion. What do bag. we have? And inside the pavilion bag is very carefully. Kim brought us a present, everybody. I you flowers for Mother's Day. Oh, Earth Mother's Day for Mother Earth. Yep. So this is a little, uh, a little seedling of butterfly weed, which I always give away at Earth Mother's Day at Pavilion Celebration, which is happening a little different this year. Okay, but happening. It's happening. On okay. Sunday, you can drive by the entry to the pavilion, and I'll have a bag and I'll have plants in them, and you can pick one up. And I'll be way away waving at you saying, have a nice Mother's Day. Oh, that's a nice plan. <laughs> yeah, so, that's but, great. So I thought I'd bring a couple for the library. Oh, I got too much stuff here. All right, well, here, I have a yeah, hand. This is what, here, so this is what it looks like. This is what, this is called butterfly weed, Asclepius tuberosa. And it's a beautiful orange plant. It's in the milkweed family. So it has little flowers, just like common milkweed. Anyway, it's really beautiful. It used to be, it's a native plant on Block Island, but they like open, sunny fields. We don't have so hmm. many open, sunny fields anymore. Hmm. So we have to find an open, sunny spot. Okay. So what do you think? Let's see. Let's try this front garden here. All right. So, um, how about Kim, our favorite naturalist, just taught us some Latin. <laughs> yeah, look at this. This looks like a good, nice, open spot, huh? Okay, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, let's see. What do we got? All right. We have two plants. Oh, don't want them tipping over. They're very little. Our little diagram. I like that it's native to Block Island. Yeah, it's native. That's why I grow them so that we can reintroduce them because you don't see them very often. Huh. And our little bag, we'll put that right here. That's last year's bag. Okay. Unfortunately, this year's bag isn't going to be ready for Sunday because COVID-19. Because here we are in the middle of a crazy time. So, should we put it right here? Yeah. All right. We're going to dig a we're not always so great with the camera when we're outside, huh, everybody? But we're trying. And the sun is funky for us, so we can't always see. So but this is nice sandy soil. And you know what? This that's is good. sandy soil. That's good because Asclepius tuberosa, butterfly weed, likes terrible soil. Ah! Likes sandy, dry soil in sunny, sunny spots. But these plants, they're really tiny and they're a little fragile. Is that two in there? There's two in there. Okay. And a twofer. Yeah. So when you're going to plant this, this is a peat pot. So this will be like a little extra nourishment. But I'm going to break the bottom open. Oh, look. Can oh, you see that? Yeah. It's got a little root coming through. They have very long tap roots, but I'm just going to break it a little bit more. Make sure those roots can come through. We're going to... Put it in the hole, just like Right in the pea pot. Right in the pea pot. I gotta get So I saw some kids, um, at, you know, playing in the library yard because, you know, they like to climb our tree oh, yeah. and... You know, we have the librarians have mixed feelings about that because we want them to be safe, but of course we want them to climb trees. And right. anyway, I saw them here the other day, and now they can come look for this. Right. I'll go in, laminate your sign, oh, good. and mark it. We'll put it good. right on the fence so everybody can find it. Yeah. We made a little terrarium for them, a uh -huh. little greenhouse, because they're still so little and it's still cold. And tomorrow's gonna be really cold. Tomorrow's gonna be cold. They're so tiny. We want to protect them from the wind. So I took a soda bottle, a seltzer bottle, cut off the bottom, 
I'm going to put it right over the top. And hopefully figure out how to make this stay in there. Look at that. No, we might have to. I've never planted like that. I never have either. <laughs> but it's an experiment. <laughs> <laughs> but the um but it'll get rain through the top. Rain and air. And air and sun. And it'll be protected because you know it can be windy on Black Island. <laughs> it can be windy, they're fragile, and you're right, there is some cold coming. Yep. So we're gonna try to do this something like this. Maybe a little later. You can really pat it down with some extra soil. We'll just try to make it a little greenhouse for a little while. I love that. So there's one. Thanks, Kim. No, the other one over there or over here? Yeah, right where you are. Right here. Yeah. What's this, a weed? Weed. You know, there's nothing wrong with a weed. A no. weed is just a plant that's growing where you don't want it. But it's a really beautiful plant when it grows where you do want it. So, we'll Especially that one, because that one has flowers. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. All right. Here's another one. Ooh. Looks like we got some mulch in here. I'm going to make this hole a little bit. Look at that. It looks around. like we have some old Fourth of July or something, right? That silver star that came out. Yeah. That's like a, you know, that's that plastic that never disappears. Yep. Well, here's a way to reuse plastic for something that we started. You have another bottle, right? Yep, I have a bottle. You brought it. I'm going to yep. test it out. Yeah. That must have been a little bit. Okay, here's, here's our your plant. Rolling around here. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, my knees are too old for this. Oh, yeah, we need our kids. We need our kids. We need our kids. There's we a little, are too. Root there. Look at I don't that. Know if I think so. Anyway, there we go. That's it amazing. Like that tree. is a long root, huh? Well, it's in the, like I said, it's in the milkweed family, like our common milkweed. And and um, they have very long, what's called tap roots, to go very deep. And so once they're in a, once they get established, they, they don't like to move because their feet are so deep. Well, so then that's what we're looking for, establishing them, right? Yep. Oh, I'm so happy to do this project. You know, I everybody should know, I asked him over the last few weeks, what can we plant in this sandy garden? Right. And so Kim and I are on a little bit of a plan to make this a, a native, right. right? A native um, Rhode Island, Block Island garden. Right, and this because it, this likes sun. You had to put it over here so the sun gets there in the afternoon. Yep. And because it likes sandy soil, this is perfect. It's perfect. Okay, now we're gonna try this again. You know what else we had real success with was when we did the milkweed seeds with the kids. Oh, cool. We had such a milkweed garden that that last year. Pop, pop. You know, I've been saving these in my uh, basement because they make good alternative bird feeders. Oh. <laughs> well, today I turned them into terrariums. Little green, uh, little greenhouses. Yeah. I just hope they don't blow away in the next couple well, of weeks. So right. Get them established. But see how this one is foggy up? Yeah. Because it's warming up and it's getting a little misty, which is what we wanted. We want it to be a little extra warm and protected from the wind. Because those little stems will break up. Look at that. It really is. It's getting foggy. Yep. They look, I, uh, can I say, they look happy already? They look they're, happy already. Yeah, they're green and they're standing up. So during the week, you'll just have to check and make sure there's still you know yep we'll check them and if that looks like the wind is too much maybe we'll just have to get some beach stones and pile them around them yeah i was thinking how could we reinforce yeah. that yeah. our little star yeah <laughs> <Kind of> funny <laughs> so 
That's our project today. Nice work, Kim. I love it. Happy and Earth Mother's Day. Happy Earth Mother's Day. We, I'll go in and laminate the sign and get it out here. And uh, Shall I leave you this yeah, leave me the bag too, and then that way. I'll put the bag on the outside of the fence, everybody, so it's marked and you can see it. And then come around and check on our garden. All right. Yeah. And then keep watching. I don't know if they'll bloom this summer. They might, but uh, as long as they stay alive. And you know what happens to most of them? Somebody's weed whacker <laughs> hits them. Yeah, so. right, which is why we put them in the garden part and not near too close to the lawn. Oh, right. all right. Us two old ladies stood up okay. <laughs> Woo! We're still standing. We're still standing, everybody. Still yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep washing your hands. Yep. Now Keep... I really have to wash my hands. <laughs> or not. <laughs> or not. Right. And you know what? I did. I was came. I was bird banding today. So I'm gonna go back and bird band some more birds. Excellent. So I'll have to wait and wash my hands at the end of the day because I'm sure I'm gonna get bird poop on them. <laughs> How many birds so far? You about keep a count? About yeah, 10? Yeah, so far. Maybe more, actually. I don't keep count. You don't count like that. Yeah. I count at the end of the day. Yeah. So. All right. Bye, Great. everybody. Bye, everybody.